Konnichiwa, minna! This is Yui Zora. Well, you're probably not, but if you're perverted, you're thinking, what is underneath that robe? Well, I'm in my gym jams! It's like 9 o'clock at night. No, half 9 at night. Ooh, I don't usually record this late at night. Well, not anymore. Let's, um, watch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Episode 6, Road of Hope. They're going to see the girl, Winry. Hey. Lieutenant Colonel? The folks at the Eastern Command Center were a little too busy to make it down here today, so I came to see you off instead. Great, but would you mind telling me what the Major's doing here? <gasps> what, yes! protection? what would happen if Scar came after you again? <laughs> You're in no shape for a fight now, Ed. The Major's here to help. Just try to grin and bear it. Children are so stubborn. Hey, shut up! A new child! Anyway, are you sure Al made it on board? Of course. Oh my god, he's with the sheep? I thought he might get lonely with that little My brother is a fire animal! Oh my god. It's time. <laughs> okay, you boys have a safe trip. Stop in and give me a shout the next time you make it to Central. Always salute with your right hand, never your left. I was always taught that. But I guess Edward has no choice but to use his left hand, since... Well, the other one's gone. Oh, he's so cute when he's asleep. Marco? It's me, Alex Luis Armstrong from Central. <clears throat> Friend of yours? He's from Central, a talented state alchemist. He was researching the possible medical applications of alchemy. But after the Ishvalan Civil War, he went missing, just disappeared. <laughs> Let's go, Major. A guy like this doctor might know some useful things about bioalchemy. Excuse me, but do you know who this person is by any chance? Oh, Major, you can really draw. The art of portraiture has been passed down to the Armstrong family for generations. Wow. That man looks like Dr. Morrow to me. Morrow? All of our town's doctors were drafted to help on the battlefields during the Civil War. Then Dr. Morrow came here. He's really been a lifesaver. He'll see any patient and he never gives up on anybody. We're lucky he's here. You see this big bright flash of light and then you're cured just like that. Ooh. Um, hello. Uh, All right, tell me what you two are doing here. Have you come to take me back? Could I kill him? Doctor, calm down. I don't ever want to go back. Anything but that. That's not it. Please listen. So you're here to silence me then? No, nothing like that. I won't be tricked by you. <laughs> I'll ask you one more time. Please calm down. Now, fuck! <laughs> it's just about to ask what was in there. So you changed your name, decided to live in hiding way out here in the countryside. If the rumors I've heard can be believed, when you disappeared, you took top secret materials with you. I couldn't handle it anymore. Order or no order, to have to dirty my hands researching that thing was too much. What thing is that? It took so many lives. During the Civil War, so many innocent died because of it. I could spend my whole life trying and still never atone for the things I've done. But I had to do something, so I came here to be a doctor to save lives instead of taking them. Doctor, what exactly was it you were ordered to do research on? What thing? The Philosopher's Stone. I knew it. I was going to say. The materials I took were my research documents and the stone itself. You mean you still have it? It's here? Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. How can that be the stone? It's a liquid. You can freeze it. <gasps> oh! The Sage's Stone. The Grand Elixir. The 
celestial stone, the red tincture, the fifth element. Just as the philosopher's stone is called by many names, so it can take on many forms, it is not necessarily a stone. This is an incomplete product, however. There's no way to know when it will reach its limit and become unusable. Finished or not, it demonstrated plenty of power during the Eshvalan Civil War, right? Mm -hmm. It's just like the stone that false priest had in the ore. It was incomplete, but it still amplified his powers considerably. If imitation stones this powerful can be produced, who's to say a complete product can't be created? Please, Dr. Marco, I need access to your research materials. Polo. Major, who exactly is this boy? This boy is a state alchemist, Dr. What? He's only a child. How old is he? After the war, there were many state alchemists who turned in their certifications because they refused to serve as human weapons anymore. And now a child. You think I don't know what I've signed up for? I know what I'm doing, but I don't have any choice. If this is a mistake, then it's a mistake I have to make. There is no other way. So you committed the taboo. Amazing. The ability to transmute a specific person's soul like this. Maybe one as talented as you would be able to produce a complete philosopher's stone. So? But I can't show you my research. Why not? You must not seek after the stone. Not even if it's to get our bodies back? Never. This is the devil's research. If you chase the stone, you will go through hell. It's already I've been... already been through hell. Never mind. He said it for me. Please just <laughs> I've already been through hell. Are you sure about this, Ed? Even an incomplete philosopher's stone could be useful. You could have taken it from the doctor by force. Yeah, I wanted it so badly I could almost taste it. But still. But still, we don't want it so badly that we'd be willing to deprive this town of their only doctor to get it. We'd gain plenty just by finding out that the philosopher's stone can be made. Now we'll just have to look for some other way to do it. What about you, Major? How do you feel about not reporting back to Central on Dr. Marco's location? I met a simple small town doctor today. I can't see any real reason to report that. <laughs> Wait! Oh! Change your mind. Dr. Marco? This is Hello. what my materials are. If you're certain you won't regret learning the truth in the end, start looking here. Look closely. Maybe you'll find the truth hidden within the truth. But I've said too much already. I hope the day will come when you are able to restore your bodies. Will they? Hmm. Brother, what does the note say? National Central Library, first branch. I get it. Like hiding a tree in the forest. Finding one book in that giant library will be difficult indeed. Find me another clue about the stone. I've been looking for you, Marco. Polo. Oh my god. <gasps> Puppy! Louise Armstrong. I'm Panaco Rockbell. I know I haven't seen you for a while, Ed, but you've gone and grown smaller. Granny! Oh. Granny, you've got it wrong. You're supposed to say how good you've grown lately, Ed. But why would I say something so clearly untrue? I'm still taller than you, you mini hag! <laughs> Edward, I thought I told you to call first when you're heading back here for maintenance. Wait, Ray! Are you trying to 
kill me? <laughs> Welcome back. Does she put clothes on afterwards? Wow. Yeah, sorry, it's a little smashed up. A little smashed up, a little head. Did you see what you've done to my beautiful creation? I slaved over this. It's basically the same, it's just in smaller pieces. <laughs> information you need you want to go to central as soon as possible am i right yeah it's just kind of a rush order oh it's not just the arm your leg needs adjusting too guess your growth's not completely stunted after all <laughs> shut up leg aside shake the arms in you'll have to build it from scratch is there any chance you can have it done in a week give us some credit ed three days but you'll have to make do with this spare for now. <laughs> it's a little difficult to walk on a leg I'm not used to. You'll be finished before you get used to it. Three days, huh? Between machining, assembly, connecting, and finishing. That's three all-nighters. I'm sorry for all the trouble. <laughs> well, you want to get to Central as soon as possible, right? Then I'll work my butt off for you. But you better believe you're going to pay a fortune in rush order fees. Such a good friend. And he's such a good body. <laughs> well, what do you request, Tender? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I haven't seen Edward anywhere around the house in a while. Yeah, he said he was going off to visit his mother's grave. Aww. Major. Puppy. What Pop kind of lives are the boys leading these days? Puppy has a robot they leg. to send us so much as a single letter. Ed and Al are well known for their alchemy, even in a high-profile place like Central. Sometimes that gets them into trouble. They seem to have a knack for finding it. But don't worry, they're all right. The Elric brothers are strong boys. Strong, huh? Yes, I think you could call them that. I'm curious, Madame Northbell. You speak of the Elrics as though they were your grandsons. Of course, I've been watching over them since they were born. I'm a friend of the family, you see. The boy's father is an old drinking pal of mine. One day, he up and left the village, abandoning his wife and sons. I don't even know whether he's alive now or not. He is. He's, he probably is. I've seen him in the opening. Well, who I think it is, him. Come to think of it, madam. Where are young Winry's parents? Gone, Major. They both died in the Civil War. Mm. My son and his wife were surgeons. They went to the battlefield to do what they could. There were never enough doctors for all the injured soldiers. It was terrible war. Yes, it was indeed. Damn war. Oh, looks like it's about time for me to get supper started. You look like you could eat a lot, but don't worry, there's plenty. Oh no, please don't trouble yourself on my account. Food always tastes better with guests anyway. Alright, I'm gonna end the episode here. Uh, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. This went a lot, a lot longer than I thought. Say that I did it.